The Music Sequencer is a powerful tool that allows you to compose your own catchy tunes. You can find this powerful tool on the music page of your tools bag, so grab one and put it in the world. Like a normal gameplay sequencer, the Music Sequencer consists of a customizable panel of alternating stripes of dark and light colors. Each of these stripes represents a length of time as the Music Sequencer plays from left to right. Unlike a normal gameplay sequencer, a music sequencer is used in conjunction with sequencer instruments to make lovely melodies. Place a sequencer instrument onto a panel now. Once an instrument is on the music sequencer, open up the pattern editor by pressing the menu button. Move the cursor around with the left stick and place notes with the action button. Pressing up or down on the right stick will change the note's volume. And pressing left or right will change its timbre. R1 and L1 are used to lengthen and shorten the notes. Use the left and right buttons on your directional pad to undo and redo as usual, and the up button to play or pause a preview of your composition. The down button lets you switch between 8 notes per beat and 6 notes per beat. Press the menu button again to tweak an instrument's pattern. From here, you can change the qualities of the sound, from its volume and reverb to the key and scale it uses. Once you have one instrument set up, you're well on your way to composing a whole song by filling the music sequencer with complementary and overlapping sequencer instruments. They'll play all at once as the music sequencer progresses, so it's up to you to make something that sounds wonderful. The music sequencer itself also has a number of tweaks to consider. You can give the panel multiple volume sliders if you want to keep some of your instruments hushed. Of course, you can change its trigger radius if it's activated by player proximity. Change its tempo to make it play slower or faster, and use the swing tweak to give a bounce to your beat. If you want the song to repeat once it's reached its end, make it a loop. Finally, the effects category. These settings control the amount of echo throughout your whole track, as well as the reverb type. 